Bosnia and Herzegovina, country in southeastern Europe located on the Balkan Peninsula. Bosnia and Herzegovina is mainly mountainous and although it may seem landlocked, it's not. It has 20 kilometers of coastline surrounding the city of Neum. The territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina is 51,197 square kilometers. As estimated in 2013, population of Bosnia and Herzegovina is a little bit above 3.5 million. The country has three main ethnic groups, of which 50% are Bosniaks, 30% are Serbs, and around 50% are Croats. The country has also two constitutional and legal entities Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Republika Srpska. The capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina is Sarajevo. It is the largest city, populating 275,000 people. Due to its long and rich history of religious and cultural variety, Sarajevo is sometimes called the Jerusalem of Europe. Sarajevo was also the only major European city to have a mosque, Catholic church, Orthodox church and a synagogue within the same neighborhood until the late 20th century. Sarajevo was also nominated to be the European capital of culture in 2014. Let's get back to the country. As I have mentioned before, country has many different cultures, religions and ethnic groups. I will try not to get too much into the details, but in order for you to understand why it is so, we must take a look into the history. After the early Slavs have settled the Balkans, Bosnia or Horion Bozona was first mentioned in the Byzantine records in the mid-10th century. Bosnia, along with other territories, became part of Duklia, the medieval Serb state, in the 11th century. In the following years, area was being contested between the Kingdom of Hungary and Byzantine Empire. In the early 12th century, Bosnia finally emerged as Banfield Bosnia under the rule of the first Bosnian Ban Boric and following him Ban Kulin. From then and until the early 14th century, Bosnian history was pretty much about different families fighting for a claim of Bosnia. After the death of Tvrtko, the first Bosnian king in the late 14th century, Bosnia fell into a long period of decline. Later, Bosnia along with other Balkan states fell under the Ottoman rule that affected Bosnia in many different ways. Bosnia, however, was a unique case among subjugated states in the Balkans. Ottomans allowed Bosnia to preserve its identity by incorporating it as an internal province of the Ottoman Empire. After the Ottomans came Austro-Hungarians, and following World War I, Bosnia and Herzegovina decided to join South Slavic Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, that later renamed it Yugoslavia. Bosnia and Herzegovina got its independence in 1992. Following that was three years of war in which a lot of people have lost their lives or their relatives. It is very unfortunate and for that reason I prefer not to go into the details, so let's move on. Let's take a look what sites are worth visiting while in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Kravice Falls in Mostar. Neretva River and Stari Most in Mostar. Vrelo Bosne Park. Bosnian Pyramids. The Old Town of Blagaj. And Bascharsio. Now that we've seen that, let's take a look at the Bosnian food. Bosnian Chevapi. Sarma. Bosnian World Burek. Now let's hear Bosnian language. And yes, I am aware Bosnian is just different national variant of Serbo Croatian. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always thank you for watching.